Hey guys, uh, we are here in HT to uh, talk about the new uh, infrared camera which is THT45. Uh, the THT45 is um, a new entry about uh, our range about thermal imagers and uh, this is the m most compact camera that we have and now we are we will see what which is inside. As you can see here there is a soft back as a standard accessory. Then we have manual, multi-language manual here. Then also we have the software, so the software is uh, free of charge and it's included. Then we have also the uh, calibration certificate. So um, here we have the uh, principal task and as you can see there is the camera here then on the left side we have uh, other accessory like cables so here we have uh, HDMI cable uh, to use the uh, video output of the camera uh, for example to, to send the, the, video, the video signal to normal TV or you know some recorders or something like that. Then we have a little strap here uh, to avoid some fold of the of the camera, so we can use like this. Then we have USB cable to connect with computer to download the data and to you know make a report with software on download images. And then we have the uh, headset to use to uh, record the voice, so we can record the voice with the videos. Then we have the micro SD card, so here we have the uh, 8 gigabyte SD card with the normal SD adapter to use with the normal sockets into the you know, PC, portable PC or desktop PC. On the other side we have a power supplier with the multiple sockets standards European and US, China and the other ones so as you can see everything is included here then we have also the power supply power supply which works from 100 volt to 240. So in the next video we will see the first turning on of the camera and the principal interfaces that the cameras have. Hey guys, that's the second part of the video and um, here uh, we will talk about the communication interface that the camera has and uh, then we will turn on the camera and we will see the functions and uh, how, how can you use the cameras? So here on the right side of the camera we have the audio interface so where we will connect the headset so to record the, the, the voice and to hear uh, what we recorded. Then we have the power supply input to charge the camera and to supply uh, the camera with the power. Then we have on the left side the mini HDMI interface to send out the signal to some TVs or some recording with uh, HDMI output. Then we have USB output to uh, download the measurements, the, the images on computer and to analyze it on the software. Okay, let's close here. Then we will insert the SD card and then we will turn on the camera. Here we have the battery and here the slot of the SD card. So we will open here, put the SD here and then close it. Okay, let's turn on. So here we have also a cover with a magnet here to uh, to cover the lens of the camera. Then we have also the uh, LED flash 
a normal camera, so visual camera, to make a picture-in-picture -picture measurements. And then we have also the laser spot. Okay, so let's turn on the camera and we will see uh, every function. This is the third part of the video and here we will see uh, the THT45 in front of the, uh, the switchboard here. We have a, a transformer into the switchboard here and then we will see uh, what the camera sh can, can show us uh, related to temperature and additional functions. So uh, here we have our menu. As we can see on the first part of menu we have the uh, three spots so the central spots, hot spot and cold spot into the into the screen uh, which are actually uh, already turned on so and as we can see here we have the um, the points that are moving automatically into the screen as we can see for example here yeah then we'll go to change some emissivity parameters so uh, actually we have a table with the common materials that you can find actually and then we can choose so pretty fast here or we can personalize the value uh, on the on the first part of the menu here then <clears throat> then we have the third part of the menu which is the uh, picture in picture function so for example here we have just IR, IR image then we can see the visible so normal visible image then we can mix so uh, mixing uh, means that you can um, uh, you can regulate the blend so the blend between a visible image and the thermal image it's pretty easy to use because you just have to use those two buttons then as you can see here there's the hundred percent no transparency and it's pretty easy to to understand what's the problem and where you are measuring so let's go on the next function. So the pallets. So we have four pallets here. Then we can we can know uh, something more uh, on the measure changing the pallets. So it's pretty easy to do because, um, for example, here the, the temperature the hot temperature is in is in red. The cold temperature is in blue. So what is in the middle you can you you can see here on the right side. You can see the range also of the minimum value of the temperature and the maximum value of the temperature here on the right side. Then we can change other palette. This is the uh, gray inverted, which is the, bl the, the black is the hottest point and the white is the coldest. So normal gray range, measurement range, which is the minus for Fahrenheit up to uh, 302 Fahrenheit, so this is the first step of the range. Then we have the second one which is the 32 Fahrenheit up to 662 uh, Fahrenheit, which is pretty high for this kind of camera, which is the uh, cheap camera actually. Then we have the language France, Dutch, and Chinese, and Italian, and uh, Spanish. Then we can choose the temperature unit, uh, factory reset, uh, time and date settings, information about the camera, alignment, which is the most important function of the picture-in-picture, -picture, because with this function we can align the uh, double uh, I visual images which are um, normal camera plus infrared cameras as I told you before but actually uh, those are not in the same position so we need to align depending on the distance of the measure and uh, this is 
and not really um, so important, but uh, it's a good function that we can find here uh, that actually is not really common to find is uh, uh, on, on, a, on a camera on that step of the price. So it's really useful, that function. So now we will take a photo and uh, that photo we will see uh, on the software.